Hey everybody, this is Tolgame and Junkie, I want to welcome you all back to my channel. So, before I, before this video starts, I just want to say yes, um, these images you are seeing are, for, are from the next issue of Life is Strange, and yes, I believe it's a time skip. I mean, I, I, it doesn't mention a time skip, but I mean, it's pretty obvious from the haircuts, so you can tell that some time has passed. Um, so in this video, I want to talk about um, why it is that Pixie can see dozens of realities with Max, but none with Tristan. Now, in case you, any of you are confused, let me explain. Uh, a few issues, uh, a few issues ago, maybe three or four issues, um, Tristan and Pixie are getting to uh, are talking about the transect and the alternate realities. And pick this is after Pixie um, learns about the alternate realities and that. So. Um, Pixie mentions to Tristan when he asks, um, can, can she see him in other realities? She says, no, I can't see you in other realities. I can only see you here in this timeline. So Tristan is essentially the only Tristan of his kind, you know, like he's an anomaly, he's an enigma, like whatever, however you want to say it, like a raindrop in an ocean. So, this, um, Tristan actually explains in, in issue 21 why he believes this is, and I thought it was pretty interesting, and I thought we'd go over it and discuss it. I asked, I asked Pixie about my other possibilities, you know. Oh, I think. I think she doesn't see them because there weren't any. I think the me you saved is the only one who survived. Tristan. No, Max, it's okay. Thank you. I think it's why I could do what I did. I wasn't bumping into my other possibilities. So I have to say that this is pretty interesting and it also explains a lot about Tristan's powers. Now I believe it was issue 12 when Max and Tristan enter the transect together. Um, Max and Tristan, <coughs> excuse me, um, they see Max's original timeline. They bolt for the broken shard of glass or portal, however you want to call it, but only Tristan is able to get through. Like the comics, um, since the first arc, has shown that Max has been switching back and forth between realities and she's been torn apart. So eventually she had to go to the timeline with Rachel and Chloe, as if she didn't, then her body or consciousness would just be erased, like, there'd still be other Maxes around, but her, in particular, as an individual, she would have died. Now, Tristan doesn't suffer this same problem, because he only exists, because he's only alive in one timeline, there's only one, or well, more specifically, there's only one Tristan with powers. This means that he can travel between universes easily because he doesn't exist. I think this also explains in issue 16 why Tristan um, becomes intangible to everyone except for Pixie. So not only is he invisible, he's he phases through other people. So he's invisible and he's intangible. But Pixie, because she can see across other realities, she's the only one who's able to see him because he's come from another reality. And and another reason like while Tristan's intangible is because since he's dead in this reality, he's essentially a ghost who's, who's, I guess, like, I guess you could call his intangibility human purgatory, neither living nor dead, just forced to walk the earth for all eternity. Now, obviously, that's not what happens, but that'd be pretty dark if it did. Uh, so anyways, that's the end of this video, uh, I thought I'd let you all know, um, in just a few days, the next issue, issue 21, will be released. I hope, well, no, sorry, not a few days. It should be tomorrow will be released. Uh, so anyways, that's the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. This is Tall Gamer Junkie, signing off.